These are completely different devices. One of them is a smartphone, and one of them is a smart camera. We get that. But they've each been touted as delivering an excellent photo shooting experience, and that's what we're here to test. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is Samsung Galaxy Camera versus Nokia Lumia 920. Now, while we show you these two very different but very white devices, I'll take the opportunity to remind you to follow Pocket Now at the usual spots with the links in the description down below. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and compare these device cameras quickly from hardware and software perspectives, and then we'll get into real-world shots and a footage face-off. Let's go. First, let's talk about some lens differences here. The Lumia 920's camera is a smartphone shooter, but it's one of a different breed. Its 8.7 megapixel resolution isn't too special, but the optical image stabilization built around it is. In fact, you won't find it on any other smartphone. The optics are Carl Zeiss, its F number is 2.0, and it's got a 26 millimeter focal length. Video recording is supported at 1080p resolution, and the flash is a short pulse high power dual LED. On the software side, there's very little here to set this apart from any other Windows phone. Hopping into the photo settings reveals the stark Windows phone interface with scenes, ISO adjustment, exposure control, white balance control, and a few other settings. We also have access to Windows Phone's lens functionality here, which on a Nokia device especially means a whole lot of added functionality via third-party apps. One of the things we don't particularly like about Windows Phone is that when you do select a scene, the viewfinder doesn't give you any indication that a scene has in fact been selected. So for example, you can save Night Portrait here. You see there's no icon at all in the viewfinder, so you can go through an entire week taking shots with the camera in you know macro mode and you would never know it. That and the lack of HDR, something of a standard on smartphones these days, ruffles our feathers a bit. Switching to the Galaxy camera, we've got a whole nother ball game here. The sensor on this sucker is 16.3 megapixels with this huge extendable lens providing 21x optical zoom ability. The lens is wide angle at 23 millimeters with a focal length equivalent of 23 to 483 millimeters. It also shoots video in 1080p. The extendable flash is a proper xenon module. Samsung has optimized Android Jelly Bean for the Galaxy camera, and the modifications are exceedingly apparent in the viewfinder, where 15 smart modes are available. Anything from macro to backlight to long exposure and more. And yes, HDR is available here, masquerading as something called rich tone. In addition to the smart mode, Samsung offers something called expert mode, which calls up a nice approximation of manually turnable lens elements. This is basically a much fancier looking way of adjusting ISO and exposure, which we can still do in the Lumia, but the settings here are broader because of the more advanced camera, and advanced users can also change their aperture settings. It's the kind of granular control you expect from a camera designed for what I'll call the expert amateur, if that makes sense. Unfortunately, I'm only an intermediate amateur, and so I did most of my shooting with the Galaxy Camera and Lumia 920 in automatic modes. The first thing you'll notice in the photo comparison is the Galaxy Camera's substantially wider field of view, capturing more along the sides than the Lumia's smaller lens can. Also, while you're not always going to make use of the Galaxy Camera's super extending zoom lens, the 21x zoom capability does come in handy sometimes, and of course it beats the pants off the Lumia's digital zoom, which is basically just cropping. The Lumia wins, though, on night shots, beating the Galaxy camera as handily as it beats any other device in low-light conditions. Even in night mode, the Galaxy camera couldn't pull much detail out of this dark basement. But the Lumia 920 in the same mode almost made it look like I'd turned a light on. Nokia continues to excel in this department. In better lit conditions, the results are harder to quantify. The Lumia sometimes delivers warmer colors, and sometimes it doesn't. Both cameras shine in the daylight. Colors are well saturated without being too blown out, contrast is good, and so is white balance. Indoor conditions produce more inconsistent results. If you keep the Lumia still, it can actually produce sharper shots. The key is being able to keep it still, which isn't always easy. Manual shutter speed control would really help experts in this situation, but the long exposure times are what gives the Lumia its excellent night capture ability. So, it's a toss-up. As for video, we had to compress and crop these to get them in this comparison, so you'll want to see the unprocessed sample footage on our YouTube channel, but a quick comparison shows the Galaxy camera delivers warmer tones indoors. The biggest surprise came from audio, though, which is much more robust on the Galaxy camera than on the Lumia 920. 
Now, maybe this is a side effect of those concert filming modifications Nokia was recently talking about. Who knows? In sum, each of these devices delivers a good, bordering on very good, camera experience for its respective category. Each has its sweet spots and particular preferences, and a more experienced photographer could do much more than I could do in this quick comparison. And each has room for improvement. You'll probably never be in a situation where you're choosing one of these over the other, but if you're planning on buying either, we hope you found this quick comparison useful. But where's the real PureView versus Galaxy Camera comparison, you ask? Well, we know this is not necessarily the PureView versus Galaxy Camera comparison you were looking for, but stay tuned for more, because in the coming weeks, we absolutely will be putting the Galaxy Camera up against the real beast from Nokia, the 808 PureView. Stay tuned for that. To avoid missing it, follow us at the links down in the description. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And once again, I'm Michael with Pocket Now. Stay tuned for a lot more. Thanks for watching.